What's up you guys, I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics and today I'm at Wild Adventures in Valdosta, Georgia. This park has a decent collection of about six roller coasters, including several Vacomas and a wood uh, CCI coaster called Cheetah. So I'm looking forward to trying some of these. Hopefully the rides aren't too rough. So without further ado you guys, let's get started. All right, the park is pretty much dead today. So uh, the first ride I'm gonna get on is their Boomerang since it has the worst operations out of everything. So uh, I'm gonna get on that right now, I'll let you know how it is. Well, their boomerang is pretty much as you'd expect, super bumpy, lots of head banging if you aren't prepared. Uh, definitely wouldn't ride it unless you're gonna go for the credit. They, uh, they got lions in this cage right here. That one's eyeballing me. Very small enclosure, I feel bad for them actually. It's, uh, I don't particularly like seeing uh, animals uh, at parks like this. So my next ride is going to be Cheetah, which is right in front of me right here. It's made by Custom Coasters International, so I uh, could scratch that off the bucket list now too. I love riding these old wood coasters. pretty crazy I'm literally the only one on this side of the park riding coasters so I got the two big ones done cheetah was absolutely rough as hell uh, it reminds me a lot of boss at Six Flags St. Louis it's got the same trains which are made by Gerslauer all the turns are just painful so for those of you who don't know parts of the movie Zombieland were filmed at this park there's uh, there's this uh, the pendulum ride right there that kills a couple zombies in the movie. And uh, I guess this is the, maybe this was the drop tower used in the movie as well. Looks similar. Pretty cool. They also have the water over here too, I believe. Uh, this is where they drove the Hummer off into the water. I could be wrong though. But I, uh, I recognize a lot of the stuff from the movie. I'm a, I'm a big fan of zombie movies and that's one of my favorite ones. I do like this whole lake area here, it's pretty nice. You actually do see the boomerang in the movie as well too, uh, when they first go into the park uh, at the entrance. But uh, after that you really don't see it again. You see a lot of their wild mouse too, which I'll show you a little bit later here a few people in the park but still not a lot I'm uh, going to Twisted Typhoon right now which is their Vacoma SLC uh, if it's anything like their boomerang uh, I'm probably gonna get beat up a little bit on this ride so there's the logo I think that's a pretty cool name actually Twisted Typhoon uh, I do like the color scheme on this too this blue and green usually most SLC's are red or yellow which is uh, the most common but this green and blue is a nice uh, nice change of pace almost kind of like their uh, giant Vacoma boomerangs Twisted Typhoon is still testing currently so I'm gonna get on Viking Voyage instead which is uh, right in front of me here it's like a pretty cool little coaster
All right, I just got off a of Viking voyage. That has to be the jerkiest coaster I've ever been on, no joke. Uh, got a couple decent pops of airtime though, I will say that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd recommend riding it, to be honest with you. Uh, truth be told, yeah, honestly, I'd probably skip it. Well, as expected, Twisted Typhoon looks a lot better than how it actually rides. It's a uh, Vacoma SLC, so they're pretty much all rough as hell. Uh, I don't know. I think there's, uh, there's definitely a lot rougher ones, that's for sure. So uh, it's not the worst, I will say that, but they're still all pretty bad. I'm in uh, their bug section of the park right now. They got these giant, giant bugs everywhere. So their last hope for a smooth ride is going to be Swamp Thing, which is a, uh, a Vacoma, uh, I believe, I forget what it's called, uh, a Junior Suspended Coaster, I believe they're called. But we'll see. I must say this area is kind of cool. They got all kinds of bugs and stuff. None of them move or anything. They're all static, but still kind of cool. It's different. Most, most parks do uh, dinosaurs and stuff like that. This place does bugs. giant uh, beetle huge scorpion oh yeah that one does move the claws move on that one so that's cool well this is one ride at the park that actually has a long line uh, I am not gonna wait in that line not for a Vacoma junior coaster like this I uh, need to start heading towards Six Flags uh, over Georgia a lot better coasters over there for me to ride all right, so this is their wild mouse right here. Uh, I'm not gonna ride this, but uh, I'm not sure if this is the one that was actually used in Zombieland where Tallahassee rides it, is just picking off zombies with a shotgun. He's, he, I remember he's shooting them on like that platform right there and on the spiral sta staircase. So I'm not sure if this is the one or not, but it'd be pretty cool if this is the one they used it for. I know they filmed it at other parks besides this one. Of course, they got a classic boat ride, just like most of the other parks. These are a lot of fun. I don't ride them as much anymore, but they're still fun rides. Classic. Well, that's gonna conclude my very short day here at Wild Adventures. I pretty much walked on every single one of the coasters, so we have to cut this vlog a little bit short, and uh, I'm gonna start heading towards uh, Six Flags Over Georgia. Uh, all their coasters here are very rough. Some are better than others, but for the most part, they're all very rough. So uh, if you like rough rides, this is the place to go. But if you're into the smooth stuff, uh, I wouldn't come here. That's for sure. But uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Have a good one, you guys. I'll catch you all in the next video very, very soon.